shit called Chambara. Chambara is a genre, right? I should teach a whole film class about this shit. Um, like, Chambara is a genre, but you know, it's Japanese cinema. So basically all those samurai movies that you see that's in black and white, that's where the term came from. It's a Chambara film, right? And those films was like, made popular by this guy named Akira Kurosawa, which is the guy who I pretty much model all the, he made Seven Samurai, he made a movie called Yojimbo. Yojimbo translates Japanese as bodyguard, and that's where they got the whole premise for Fist Full of Dollars. And that's why Clint Eastwood is the character with no name, because in the Japanese cinema, he has no name. But in the second movie, Sanjiro, it's his actual name. You hear me? Yeah. So I ended up naming the song Sanjiro because like it just sounded like something that you would hear in those Japanese films with the way it sounded with the horns with the blah, blah. and then um, Cardo made the beat. If y'all know who Cardo is, Cardo produced a lot for uh, Kendrick Lamar, if y'all know. Yes. And um, basically, uh, me and him was talking and I was like, what was the inspiration behind the beat? Because it just fit. And he was like, oh yeah, man, I was just really into spaghetti western films, man. Not, without even talking to him, like, you know what I'm saying? Or telling him anything about the project, he was just like, this song was influenced by spaghetti western. So I was like, oh, I need this. So ended up being on the project, put 454 on it, or 454, put him on it, and that's how the song came to be. And I was just like, at first I was gonna name it some, some other shit, and then I was just like, you know what, man, just name that bitch Sanjiro, and that's it. There's a lot of stories, man. This album has a lot of stories. A lot of the songs that I make has stories behind them. We love that. We love that too. You know, like for instance, well, we're gonna talk about like Ultimate, for instance. Yeah. Ultimate, I wrote without the beat. There is no beat. Wow. No beat whatsoever. That <laughs> had no beat. I just remember, do anybody listen to Dance Hall? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it was like, if you, where I'm from, like in Kara City. Kara City is nothing but Jamaicans. It's like a lot of Jamaicans. You feel me? So I was raised around them. And then I moved to East Miramar when I was, you know, the ULT house. That's where people like myself, uh, Ski Mask will record there, X will record there, and, and et cetera, right? And Ronnie J will produce there. And that's where me and him was living. So I remember when he had that beat, and he sent me that beat two years before I even made Ultimate. You know what I'm saying? He sent me that beat in 2013. I didn't get to it till 2015. And then I had the song and he had the beat. It just matched up and that's how Ultimate was made.